everybody, it's Goody Parade. And today I have the entire Monster High electrified doll line. I finally found Cleo and Venus. So there's a slimmer box a version and then there's a bigger box version. The slimmer box ones were about $15 and the bigger ones were about $20. So right here I have Ari Hauntington looking amazing, looking totally 80s. And you can see it says hair raising ghouls because they have crimped hair, which is totally 80s. And they also have kind of bright neon colors. Oh, I love the back cover art, totally gorgeous. And you can see here is Frankie's vanity set. It looks a little bit different, but you can tell it's totally Frankie. So I'm gonna read the little blurb because there is a movie called Electrified. And here's the plot. When Claudine dreams of opening a salon for monsters and normies, Frankie gets a charge out of fixing up the old power station. But then Monica plots to ruin their plans, so Twyla lends a shadowy hand to stop her. Now the ghouls have to save the normie town and open their salon, all while getting a voltageously electrified makeover. So the one thing about the uh, slimmer boxes, there's two slightly different versions. Just that this one says electrified like that, and this one says electrified like that. This one has her name down here, and this one has her name up here. Here's the back of Venus. And here's Miss Draculaura looking gorgeous. And there's her artwork on the back. I'm gonna kind of blow through the boxes and we'll get a better look at the dolls when they're out. And here is Sylvie Timberwolf. She is a new character. Look at her, looking sassy. It also does show on the back some of the other dolls in the collection. And here is Cleo. Cleo, whoa, her hair looks amazing. All right, now here are the three deluxe ones, and here is Miss Twyla, looking gorgeous. Six hair accessories. And there's Miss Twyla. And Claudine. Oh, I'm also noticing that these come with a pet, too. Looking fab. And this one's a little bit different. It's Frankie, and she does not have hair accessories. But it says, Voltageous Lights and Sound. Try me. Dare we? Hmm. Interesting. So she's holding her little pet there. And there she is on the back. Gorgeous. Four types of lights and sounds. Multicolored hair. Electrical sparks. Kisses and giggles. Oh, I like that. And then you can see the Claudine and the Twyla that are also the deluxe dolls. All right. Well, all of these dolls are wearing neon colors and definitely are giving a little bit of a flashback vibe with that crimped hair. And I am just going to rip them all out of their boxes and then we can get a better look at them all up close since there's eight of them to look at. Okay, here I go. articulated except for Frankie that means their elbows and knees move with oh and also the wrists as well however we're gonna start with Frankie here and she is not articulated at all and I think it's because she's a stunt doll as she lights up I guess her knees are articulated that's cool these shoes are amazing they've got little bolts on them and like the little electrical bolt that wraps around her leg she does have the stitches in relief on her that's kind of freaky, look at that. Whoa! <laughs> okay. So here's where her batteries go. That was kind of a good idea. They made it look kind of like a little skirt underneath the little battery box and speaker so it doesn't look too cray cray well. And I love her dress. I just love the bright colors. I love that the dress is a little bit longer than some of their clothes have been in the past just because I like more fabric. I love the detail of the ruffle. It's got this neon pink clear plastic little thing right here and and then this rainbow neon on the top she's got like this little lightning bolt collar on and then under the uh, <laughs> underneath it you can see the dress oh my gosh it's really cute it has like a little green side strap that goes over to one side so that could be fun to mix and match with some of the other dolls and then it has a velcro fasten 
in the back and oh that collar is kind of interesting how it goes over the back of the shoulder blades there that is a cute dress i don't think it needs that little collar she's got a bracelet on and i did notice the three deluxe dolls all have earrings and the slimmer box ones do not none of the dolls came with doll stands or brushes although two of the ones that came with hair accessories come with little combs let's see what she does here so look at her little pet i love how its little eyes are all squinting shut light coming from oh look there's a little light coming out of the top of her ponytail <laughs> I don't know what do you guys think about that do you like dolls that do stuff like this or would you or would you rather have a doll that's fully articulated let's see I wonder if her little pet can come off here well, it looks like her hand is molded to this little base that her pet is on <laughs> But she is darling. I love her neon lips and even her eyes. Her She has pink neon eyeliner on and her hair with the yellow and the black, the blue and the black. I think these dolls would look really cute under a black light. For those that don't know, Frankie Stein is daughter of Frankenstein. And here we have Miss Twyla, who is the daughter of the boogeyman. And Twyla is smaller than the other dolls. She's on a little bit different body frame. Some doll collectors call her the little sister uh, build. And as I said before, this, she is fully articulated. Her knees move, her elbows move, and her wrists move. I love that. She's got this signature electrified crimped hair. And it's this beautiful turquoise, or it's more like a seafoam green with some purple in it and even some black. And she's got a lot of it. It's pretty long. It's pretty big. Little bangs and a cute little tie scarf going to the side here. And she does have earrings. And she has this little spider web bow around her neck. I like that. There's a little spider in the middle. That's cute. But again, look at that dress. So cute. And she also has a hot pink little plastic ruffle on her dress like Frankie and then there's a little bit of tulle under that a little ruffle velcro in the back green straps let's see her shoes oh oh I really like those shoes they have little cutouts through them little sandals little platform number there very cute and this side her arm is gray she has a little spiral on her arm there. She's pretty. I think I'm liking this electrified line. I just love the bright, bright colors. And I love the 80s, <laughs> totally. Her hair, I feel like, needs a little love. She did come with the hair accessories, so maybe we can give it some love in a little bit. In fact, I didn't pop hers off of her card yet so we could get a better look at them. There's this cute barrette, which are two little faces and a bow and this looks like Dustin her rabbit and it has this pink hair strand attached to it and it's a barrette and this is a little spiral thing that you can put around like a ponytail and there's a little comb with a bug on it and here's another barrette with a skullet and hair and I like these because I can use them also Twyla did come with this cute little pet look at that kind of uh, translucent, but not totally. That is pretty cute. I like that. And last of the deluxe dolls is Miss Claudine. She is so gorgeous. I just love her hair. I just love how big it is, how purple it is, and how pink it is. Look at that. Again, we've got the crimping. And let's see, she's got earrings, little half moon over on this ear and this ear. And then a little moon headband. Her makeup's really pretty. She's got neon green eyeliner and a gorgeous dress. Again, I love the lengths of these dresses that they're not too short. And then a tulle ruffle that goes to a diagonal. 
and those bright neon colors. I guess they all it looks like have a little bit of a plastic ruffle somewhere on their outfit. And I love how it goes over one shoulder. Velcros down the back, so cute. She is the daughter of werewolves and her arms and body has little faux fur molded into her. And she's got long nails like little claws as you would imagine on a werewolf. And she has this cool belt. It looks kind of like a studded half moon and it is removable, it has a little snap there. And then let's check out her shoes. Oh. Those are pretty cute. Love them. She did come with a pet like Twyla. Kind of look like Furbies. And then her accessories are a little mouth with fangs barrette, another skullette barrette, just like Twyla had, but with a chartreuse neon hair. Oh, this is cute. The bow is made of little claws with the pink hair and a pink hair comb that's kind of a studded crescent moon. <gasps> Who do we have next? It's Cleo. Oh, Cleo, I'm so happy to see you. It was really hard to find you. I don't know, her hair's kind of flat. She does have a little crimp to it. And underneath she has hot pink hair, which I don't know if I've ever seen hot pink on a Cleo. That's pretty unusual. She has this nice headband with a faceted stone on top. And she doesn't have ear holes or earrings, but she does have this amazing dress. Now this is a pretty bright dress for Cleo. There's little cat mummies on it. <laughs> That's cute. And then she's got this neon plastic edging on the bottom and on the top here too. That's cute. Super cute clothes definitely can mix and match these okay and the new Cleos have the molded mummy wrap arm and torso and one leg let's see her shoes neon pink those are some pretty high shoes really cute Who's next? It's Ari. Ari, oh, Cleo is daughter of mummies. I forgot. And Ari here is daughter of ghosts. And you may know that Ari likes music a lot. She has a little music clef symbol here on her chain headband. And she's got really neat kind of translucent skin. Uh, well, it's not translucent. It has an iridescent shine to it. She's got purple hair, crimped with a blue streak through it. And then her dress, it looks like it goes off the shoulders. I like that. Well, and it's a kind of a stretchy fabric. And the length is amazing. Cute little music notes and chains. And then she's got a chain belt that also has little piano keys on it. And then a blue plastic ruffle around the bottom. She's cute, I like her. And her beautiful iridescent skin. I wonder if that's painted on after or if that's actually in the plastic mold, I don't know. I like it a lot though. And then here's her shoes. Whoa, her shoes look a little extra special to me. I love that. I go all the way up. And then there's a little wedge. Oh, it's like a little music note in cut out. Little chain over the toe. Who's next? Let's do Venus. I love Venus with her shaved head on one side, which is flocked, meaning it's kind of fuzzy like velvet. She does not have any earrings or ear holes. Venus is daughter of plant monsters. And look at her neon pink hair. It's just outrageous, fabulous. And one thing I am liking is the crimp kind of just holds it in place which you know can be tricky when she has the shaved on one side to keep it all on one side there. There's some yellow and black underneath and a little bit of yellow and black on the top. 
she has this amazing Venus flytrap plant barrette in her hair and it's a real barrette you could take out and use yourself so there's quite a few uh, hair accessories in this line oh look at her eye makeup that is cute how it's outlined and she's got a cute form-fitting dress on Ooh, it's all yellow on the back with a belt and a pink plastic ruffle around the bottom. Oh, it's got little Venus flytrap plants on the outside and one here in the center of the belt. And then the top is kind of a mesh, see-through mesh. And Venus has little vines molded into her skin on her arms and legs. Let's check out her shoes. Ooh, that's some neon. Again, black light would be amazing. Who's next? It's Draculaura, daughter of Dracula. And she's got a, a batwing bow in her hair with a little heart in the middle. That's really cute. And her hair definitely has some neon pink there and some black. Some cute little bangs. And a little heart on her cheek. Very cute dress. Batwing bow belt again. And her belt looks like it just kind of snaps on and off there. That dress is really cute. And there's bats and hearts and spider webs and cute little back wing sleeves here or straps. The Velcro fastened in the back. Let's see her shoes. Oh, that's cute. It has like a little bat silhouette cutout. Which one's gonna be your favorite? Which one's gonna be my favorite? I don't know. Okay, I saved Sylvie for last since she is a new addition to the Monster High character line. And she is daughter of gray werewolves. She is so cute. I just love this. How her hair is crimped right here but pulled to the side. That is so pretty. And she's got hot pink earrings. Gosh, she's gorgeous. She has lavender eyes and she, her hair is in a crimped pony and I love that turquoise hair too. Her color, a little magenta, a little chartreuse, nice little streak there. Yeah, that is really cute. Very feminine. And she has one of these collars on again. This looks like little wings or fur. Ooh, it's like fur. And look at that, it's almost like patent leather on the top, that turquoise patent leather. And then her dress has like silhouettes of wolves howling. That is so cute. And then the chartreuse ruffle, neon chartreuse I should add. Wow, I really like her. And then let's see her shoes. Whoa, those look like deadly weapons. <laughs> Oh, they're like fangs kind of and then rivets around those are cute so the whole color palette of this you could mix and match these outfits and belts and earrings and collars very easily mm, so cute all right there's the eight ladies of the electrified line looking amazing Okay, before we totally move on, we got to do the hair accessories. I'm going to kind of use these on all the dolls. First up, we have this cute claw barrette with the pink hair hanging from it. Who should that go on? I think I'm going to put, well, claw. Okay, we'll do Claudine. These did come with Claudine, by the way. I know somebody that puts these little fun hair things on their dog. <laughs> It's a furry dog, so they can clip it on the fur pretty easy. That looks cute. Oh, and then I didn't notice when I was looking at it, there's a full-on little howling wolf on the top of this little spiral thing. And even though this came with Claudine, this reminds me of Sylvie. Let's see if we can get this on her ponytail a little bit. That's actually kind of cute, how it sticks up. That's neat. Cute. All right, what do we have next? It's a skullet with chartreuse green. I'm gonna pick Venus for this one. That's kind of fun. Oh, and then there's the comb. Let's see how the comb works in the hair, especially 
with the crimped. I'm wondering if it's easy to comb it out. I'm sure it could wash the crimp out. Not that I would want to, but somebody might. Yeah, that works pretty nice. So there's no brushes, but you get two combs. And actually, I really like these. <laughs> okay, and it's a little mouth with fangs. Let's do Twyla. It totally doesn't match, but why not? Cute. All right, I'm just gonna run through the ones that came with Twyla. Again, the Dustin with the little pink. Not sure what these, are these like little boogeyman creatures? I'm not sure. I like how this is kind of translucent though. That's a pretty color. And then she's got one of these spirally things with a Monster High skullette. And then there's a little key. That's cool. And then another pink skullette with turquoise and a bug comb. I really like this. I think that's super cute. Let's just do another look at them all real quick so you can vote. There is Miss Sylvie Timberwolf. I love her. And Miss Draculaura. And Miss Twyla. And Venus. And Claudine. Oh, love her. And Ari. And Cleo. And Frankie. All right, everybody, I want you to tell me which one's your favorite. I think mine's definitely gonna have to be Sylvie. I just think she's just so adorable. I can't get over it. I also like Claudine quite a bit. And my least favorite is Frankie because she's got that thing stuck to her hand. All right, everybody, let me know which one is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for future videos. Bye for now.